हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मयू जयसवाल सर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स टी पी पार्टिया जूनियर कॉलेज आई एल बी टेकिंग मॉड्यूल टू ऑफ रोटेशनल डायनामिक्स In module two, we are going to learn the three topics that are centripetal acceleration, centripetal force, and centrifugal force. For any particle moving in UCM, it experiences an acceleration which binds the particle towards the center of the circle. that acceleration is called as centripetal acceleration the formula for centripetal acceleration is given as v square upon r or omega square r or omega times v where omega is the angular velocity of the particle in vector notations we can write it as minus v square by r into r cap or minus omega square r into r cap where r cap will be a unit vector along r therefore it is clear that the centripetal acceleration has a direction opposite to the radius vector since an acceleration acts on the particle in ucm and therefore a force also will act on the particle in ucm the force that we are studying now is a centripetal force centripetal force is a force acting on the particle performing UCM the direction of the force is along the radius and directed towards the center of the circle the formula for centripetal force is m omega square r or mv square upon r in vector notations it is equal to minus m omega square r vector or minus m v square by r into r cap so it is very clear that the direction of centripetal force is always opposite to the radius vector let us see some example of centripetal force if you tie a ball on a string and whirl it in a horizontal circle then the centripetal force is the force acting as the tension along the string Another example we can see is a spacecraft orbiting the earth the centripetal force is provided by the force of gravity Another one if you drive a car in a circle the centripetal force is the force of friction that is acting between the road and the tire surface Since under centripetal force we said that the particle is attracted towards the center so by that logic the particle should move spirally and fall at the center of the circle but we observe this doesn't happens now this is because of another force that is called as centrifugal force centrifugal force is a force acting on the particle performing ucm and the direction of the force is always away from the center of the circle its formula is given as m omega square r or mv square upon r in vector notation it is given as plus m omega square r vector that is 
this is in the direction of the radius vector of the circle let us see some example of centrifugal force for a satellite which is orbiting around the earth and it maintains the same height that is because of centrifugal force another one when we swing a bucket full of water over our head the water doesn't falls down this is because of centrifugal force acting on the water the another and the easier one is when a car is moving on a curved road then the person inside feels an outward force while turning that force is called as centrifugal force let us combiningly show both the force in one particular diagram so this diagram shows us the direction of centripetal as well as centrifugal this can be understood by a simple example consider a vehicle moving on a curved road therefore the person inside will experience a outward force due to centrifugal force but the vehicle which is turning along the road due to the friction of tire and the road surface will experience the centripetal force so both the forces are acting simultaneously